First up at UFC Jacksonville, we have Cody Brundage stepping up on a week's notice to take on Cedrics or SD Dumas. Cody Brundage, eight and four overall, two and three in his last five, coming off the submission loss to Rodolfo Vieira. He's taking on SD Dumas, four and one in his last five, seven and one overall, coming off his first official loss and his first loss in his UFC debut. We all know Cody Brunich at this point. He's been fighting for years in the UFC. He's a heavy-handed wrestler. He can be sort of a feast or famine guy, right? He's going to knock you out. He's going to beat the shit out of you, or he's going to get finished. But he's going to come forward. He has big, heavy, powerful punches. He has a very high-level wrestling background, and he brings all of that to the cage. He's averaging almost three takedowns per fight. But even in dominant wrestling wins where he's just taking you down over and over, he can still getting into some trouble. I mentioned he's coming off that loss to Rodolfo Vieira. He beat the brakes off of Rodolfo Vieira. And then he gassed. And he got submitted. He dropped that dude twice. And then he gassed. And then he got submitted. That's the concern here because he's taking on SD Dumas. SD Dumas is a street fighter. Think um, George Masvidal. But he's more than just a wild... Not that George is. That transition was weird. He's more than what you would assume a street fighter is. He does have jujitsu. He does have takedowns. He's sort of got it all. He's a, he's a well-rounded mixed martial artist who sort of just came up through that path. His kickboxing is solid. He's got decent techniques. But he is coming off of a loss in his UFC debut where he was a little overhyped. Everybody was loving SD Dumas in that fight. And he just got ragdolled by Josh Freem. Didn't really have much to offer on the ground. And this is an interesting spot for me because... Where's the... Oh, my God. You Where just are um, you, The fact that you spent fucking six minutes of this intro bragging about your fucking graphics. And I left and half and the And all the work off. you do and stuff. And now that you, you are immediately exposed for cutting corners. I didn't cut corners. I left half the graphics out. So yeah, I'll I mean, do that while a, you're exactly, doing... Yeah, that's cutting corners. Oh, my God. No, I spent... So, oh, that's so I would, yeah, anyway. I would be very embarrassed, yeah. Did you okay. leave them out for all of them? Yeah, I'm going to update it while you're talking, then I'll swap it out. No big deal. Uh, the graphics are all done. I just didn't put them in the PowerPoint like a, a stunad. Anyway, Cody Brundage, I think he wins this fight. I got him at a half a unit at minus 115. Minus 115 were the odds that I got him at. He is now a very, very large favorite, and he probably shouldn't be. Even though I do think he gets it done, SD Dumas was a little bit of a fish out of water. You got somebody like Cody with the power, with the wrestling, but I do worry about Cody's durability. So while I love my bet at minus 115, I don't like the current odds. What do you think, Jakey boy? Talk for three minutes while I do these graphics. Um, I think you pretty much summed it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, listen, uh, I, yeah, I was one of those people that you mentioned that some people were very high on SD Dumas, and I, and I was one of those people. He in, in, in previous fights, he seemed like an absolute dog. He seems, as you mentioned, very well-rounded, very talented everywhere, especially in the striking. He didn't seem like he ever got really overwhelmed. He was very, um, I would say, observant and self-reflective in the fact that he does have uh, deficiencies in the ground game, but he says, and he said in the interviews before, and this is what I loved about him going into the friend fight was, listen, I, I might get taken down. If I do get taken down and I'm on my back, I promise you I will get back to my feet. And it might take me a little bit, but I promise you I'm going to get back to my feet. And you kind of saw that in the Frem fight. He was taken down, and I mean, those were bad takedowns. I mean, he was picked up. He was slammed down. Not It's not like he was close to defending and then taken down. So that's that's not a good situation, especially against like Cody Brunage. But he was getting back to his feet, and at the very end, before he got submitted, he actually outscrambled and swept Frem, got his back, and then just kind of fell over the top. I think that's a little bit of a lack of experience there in the grappling department. But overall, he seemed a little bit overwhelmed by that moment moment which I mean it's it's to be I mean that was a UFC debut on a big pay-per-view card so I could see that happening and it seemed like he was thinking out there more than kind of reacting I think this being in the hometown home crowd I honestly would feel better about him if he stayed on the main card being on prelims opener is not gonna be a lot of people there and he can't really feed off that energy but in the home crowd things to be a much more relaxed everybody in the world knows exactly what what Cody's going to do. SD said it too. He's going to be diving for legs. He's going to be sniffing my crotch, all that good stuff. Everybody knows what he's going to do. But the issue with Cody Brunich is, I mean, low fight IQ. You mentioned the Rodolfo fight. He lost that fight because he went for a guillotine. I mean, we just some random ass guillotine when Rodolfo's he hurt. He's tired. Too, though. No, he went for a guillotine and then immediately got submitted because he went for the guillotine. He even said, like, I don't know why I went for that guillotine. That was pretty stupid. He flat on his back, got a head and arm triangle. I mean, he got submitted. So he might come in. 
and try to strike with SD, SD Dumas. So, you know, I, it's hard to know what Cody is going to do. I don't trust him at the Midas, whatever money it is now. I think at the even money or dog money, it's probably good because he's going to have a wrestling advantage. But I think I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with SD. I'm, I'm going to give him one more chance because I do like his tenacity that I've seen in the past. I like his striking abilities. And he does get back to his feet. He's kind of a fish out of water, as you mentioned, on his back. But he does work back to his feet. And Cody does get tired. Cody does make, make mistakes. And he gets a little sloppy in the striking. So in front of the home fans, you know, first fight of the night, I'll take the uh, the upset here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with SD Dumas for one more. One more fight. Was that three yeah, minutes? Yeah. It's it's uploading right now. We're so close, Jacob. Oh my God. We are so close. Don't finish. I'm right there. I'm right there. Don't finish. Yeah, well, I um, wish we kind of. I kind of want to be a little bit more professional this week. Give oh, the this is the, this is the week. Yeah, this Give is the week. So we're going to have a lot more eyes on us, and I want to make sure that I'm buttoned up. So the the week that you filmed a music video in your own shower, fully clothed, is the week you want to be more professional. That was a professional production. Yeah. I had a whole team there. So, yeah. Okay. That's that's the sure. stand. I mean, that's – so this is – I mean, we can talk about that because this is the standard I'm trying to set, right? I I, I, I I film all night. I edit. I mean, the production value is off the charts. We come in this very next day, and Angelo forgets half the graphics. So, you know, I'm trying to set <laughs> – I'm trying to set this bar, and you immediately fail at reaching the bar because you can't get your feet off the ground. There we go. There we go. I, I see the graphics. I don't know what you're talking about. But here's that line movement. Cody Brundage opened at a plus 130 dog. He's a minus 185 favorite. I hate him at those odds. At those odds, SD Dumas makes all the sense in the world. And if I had Cody at plus money, I would go ahead and arbitrage bet this and get SD Dumas at plus money too. And I actually have a fight on this card where I'm going to be able to do that. Oh my we'll God! Because you're, cause you're just so far ahead of everything. That's very good, Angel. My man, good, pots that's and good pants. for the uh, good for the premium membership. Become a premium member. Have we have we pumped the premium membership yet? I don't think I've mentioned it. <laughs> uh, he's minus one seventy five <laughs> now. He ballooned all the way to minus two twenty, which was like. But it looks that's like it's wild. starting to yeah, it's starting to come back down a little bit. So it's now, just under one and a half this... too is like that feels dangerous. That feels dangerous. Oh, one, I think minus one fifty five for under one and a half. Yeah, I think it's an over one and a half. The, it's just, it's not a line I'm willing to touch though. I'm not going to, cause anything could happen. Um, yeah, I'm not going to touch that line. I do like my Cody Brundage money at minus 115. If you tailed that as a premium member early, I think that's phenomenal value. But one of these numbers don't touch it. And frankly, SD Dumas is looking more, we know he can knock people out and we know Cody Brundage can get knocked out. So, but Cody's got the, uh, Cody's, superior in the skill set that SD is lacking. It's just that simple. Um, there. The DraftKings pricing. We mentioned we have DraftKings courses. If you're seeing these numbers on the screen, you know what they are. If you're a premium member, click on more. Click on courses. It'll walk you through everything you've ever needed to know to start playing DraftKings. But 8,700 to 7,500, I think you need one of these guys. I do not think this goes to a decision. Somebody's going to get a finish here, and somebody's going to score really, really well. Do you think Cody's worth the $8,700? And it is his short notice. So this was full camp. That minus 185 would actually make a lot more sense to me. Uh, I think that's better than the, uh, the SD Dumas. There's, there's better. There's a lot of live dogs, and I don't think he's one of the more live ones, in my opinion. Yeah, I just think whoever wins this fight wins by finish. But I well, hear you. This, is a, that's not this a, is a... I mean, it's not a wild guess there. I thought like we were on the same side and like trying to build this whole thing together and like you know I basically dragged. I just want to get to the fucking he boss fight. Can we just fucking go? Yeah, that's a long way away. <laughs> a long way away. Well, at least we got Richie here and a couple. 